Hey there, welcome back. We have a game-changing topic in store for you in regards to automated lead assignment and creating an automated sales sequence. Are you ready to maximize your lead generation and conversions? Stick around. We will reveal some secrets in regard to streamline your workflow and propel your business to new heights. Welcome to the Elixir channel, your resource for all things HubSpot. In our previous video, in the playlist on how to master trade shoes and maximize your ROI, we covered three effective methods on streamlining your lead registration process. In regards to the business card scanner feature, you assign yourself as contact owner, which allows you to have immediate access to the data that is just captured. However, it's important to note down that the business card scanner feature captures default fields like the name, email and phone number, limiting the amount of information that you can gather. On the other hand, like you see here in our example, the form submission provides you with the flexibility to choose the specific data points you would like to capture, such as a role, industry, language or even a country. This customization allows for a more comprehensive understanding of your leads, enabling a targeted and personalized follow-up. Using submission forms requires a workflow for automated lead assignments. Before we dive into our demo how to set this workflow up and even create an automated sequence for follow-up, Let's take a look at the key benefits of using this method of submission forms and why automated lead assignment is important. By removing the manual and administrative responsibility of your internal sales manager to distribute leads, valuable time and resources are saved. The automated lead assignment process ensures that leads are assigned to the appropriate sales rep based on their industry, product, or regional expertise. With a structured lead distribution process in place, sales reps receive the leads that are aligned with their specific areas of responsibility. This targeted approach allows sales reps to focus their time, energy, and expertise on leads that are most likely to convert, resulting in an increased productivity and higher chances of closing deals. By assigning leads to sales reps who have industry, product or regional knowledge, you provide a personalized and tailored experience to your prospects. Sales reps with expertise in this particular domain can better understand the customer pain points, provide relevant solutions and build stronger relationships. This enhances the overall customer experience and increases the likelihood of a successful conversion. As you can see here, I created the submission form for the trade shoes and it will capture the default field types like the first name, last name, email, phone number and the company, just as the business card scanner would do. But where the value lies is that you can add additional fields that would give you more insight in regards to your potential lead. For example, country would be industry, number of employees or even the product that they would have interest in to buy it. This is really important to define with your sales team like what to import in the submission form and not and you can completely customize it depending on the field types that you think that would be important for your sales strategy. So anytime that this form would be filled in and submitted it would automatically make a contact within your contact records in your HubSpot account as a potential lead. So let's go to the workflow here you see the workflow that we created to automatically assign the right sales representative to that potential lead who has filled in that form. Like you see here, the trigger for this workflow is anytime that somebody has filled in and submitted the form. The next trigger would be that depending, in this case we decided on the country, depending on the country that is filled in, there will be the right sales representative assigned. So for example, we have laid out that if it's Belgium, 
Wahia would be the sales representative. For the Netherlands, it would be Laura. For France, it would be Laure. For example, for Denmark, it would be also Laure. All the other countries would be automatically assigned to Laura, for example, as the sales representative. So, for example, as you have seen here, and we want to add a branch, you can. We just go to Add Branch. We enter the value Denmark. We save it. You see that in the branch, this field type is created. We say here that we want to set the property value. We say here that we want to assign a contact owner and that contact owner would be, for example, Lar. Then we will save it. Also in this workflow, you see that it will be automatically assigned to Lar. So this is the workflow that we suggest to automatically do the lead assignment. And the country is, for example, now the value that we are defining it, but you can actually define it for yourself, whatever would be the best value to add. So you want to make sure that you follow up with all the leads that you generated from your trade show that you can do by using a sequence. So what is a sequence? A sequence is a series of automated tasks or emails that you can execute for your contact, either manual or automatically. The difference is that an automatic email will be sent as a marketing email, while a manual email is more an email that you can check and review before you send it out manually to your lead. So for this demo, I'm showing you three steps in the sequence, which the first one is an automatic email. It's like a autoresponder. So if you imagine that you meet somebody at a trade show, you can scan his or her business card, and then this person will automatically get an email, and that email can be sent from the sequence. And in this email, you basically give your contact details. You can also make sure that you enter a meeting link. This way, in the meeting link, they can schedule a meeting with you or even book a meeting in your calendar. Then it will automatically unenroll them from the sequence. So let's assume that this person doesn't reply to this email. Then after one day, you will get to the second step, which is a call task. As the name says itself, you will have to call up the person you have to follow up. So let's say that this person picked up the phone, then you have to unenroll this person from the sequence manually, and then the sequence will stop here. But let's say that you have to leave a voicemail and the person basically doesn't get back to you. Then the sequence continues. And then you will have to go for the third step. The third step is an automatic and general email where you basically remind them that you have tried to reach out to them and you're still hoping if there's possible, if they find any time to schedule a meeting with you. So let's say that you want to automatically assign the tasks and a sequence to your assigned sales representative. We just go back to our workflow that we have created for the automated lead assignment. We go, for example, to Wahira. We say here, we press the plus button. We press enroll, enroll sequence, the sequence that we have created and want to assign to Wahira. So he gets an alert. And then we have to press his email as well, so he gets alerted from it. And then we can save it. This way, it's automatically also done, and the task will be automatically assigned to Wahira as well. For example, you want to do the same for Flor, is you can do it as also the plus button, but another way to do it is an action to clone this action, place it here. You save it. The only thing you need to make sure is that the sender is now not Wahira, but Law. Law. And there you have it. The secrets to unlocking the full potential of automated lead assignment and creating a winning sales sequence. By implementing these strategies, you can revolutionize your lead management process, increase sales productivity, and ultimately boost your bottom line. 
Stay tuned for more tips and tricks and exciting demos to elevate your trade show game and subscribe to our channel.